Oh, welcome. I'm Justin Pope, a freshman theater performance major here at NU. Many of you may not recognize me, but here on the Ridge Report, you may have heard this. This is the Ridge Report, Niagara University's student-produced newscast. This past year, we've been asked by professors, students, and our very own viewers what exactly goes into making our show. So today, I'm here to show you what goes on behind the scenes of Niagara University's student-produced newscast. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the making of The Ridge Report. On filming nights, the crew sets up our studio in Dunleavy 124, hours prior to even hitting record. We put our script together, set up the studio floor, make sure all of our equipment is properly set, and then it's lights, camera, action. This is our control room. Each week, our crew members come together for a story meeting. Here, we discuss what we're going to cover for the next episode and who will be doing what position. Oh look, here they come now. So the positions that I've done are anchor and prompter operator. My favorite is doing the prompter. And Andrew thinks I'm the best at the scrolls, so I do it all the time, and I love it. Um, I have been a camera operator, an anchor, and a prompter operator. And my favorite position is the camera operator. The floor director, I've done camera numerous times, and then Working my way up, I finally got to be an anchor, and then working my way up more, I got to be a sports anchor with also the responsibility of going out into the field and filming, uh, writing up stories for the directors and for the producers. So I've kind of done a little bit of everything, but definitely my favorite, I think, is doing like the anchoring and sports anchoring, just because I just love being on camera that much. So I've been a camera operator and that you kind of have to, you know, make sure the talent is in focus at all times and make sure that it's lined up the right way and things like that. I've also been a technical director and that's making sure that the right screen is up at the right time and following the director's orders and making sure whatever's on the screen has to be there. And currently I'm an anchor in this position. You read the stories and um, give the audience the information they need. I have done the prompters, I have been a technical director, and currently I am the audio director for Ridge Report. Uh, my favorite position is the technical director, um, and for that position, I have a lot of responsibility to make sure that the camera is on the right shot that we are filming. There's a lot of transitions between, and it's so good to make sure that the camera is in focus and that the show looks good before we start filming. Uh, my favorite position has been technical director, and it's basically Switching the cameras and getting um, like background footage playing and listening to the other director. I really like being on the floor crew because it's a really wide diversity of jobs that you do. And it's always, you're always on your feet, you're always helping out with the floor director and it's really a rewarding So far on the Ridge Report, I have done floor crew, camera operator, and sports anchor. Uh, for the sports anchor, we did a prediction for March Madness. Nate, Andrew, and I, we predicted the winner for the, the championship game, and Andrew was the only one that actually picked the right team, and Nate and I lost. But. As an anchor, specifically a sports anchor, which is what I do. Um, you really have to have a knowledge uh, of sports greater than what just comes across the teleprompter. You need to understand stats, you need to understand what the actual sport is. You need to go out and you need to uh, get B-roll, especially going to games. And really, really it's just all about understanding what you're reporting rather than just reading it. As the floor director, I'm basically communicating between the control room and the studio floor. So I'm communicating not only with our talent that we have, both of our anchors and whoever is doing our segments, I'm also communicating 
with the director and also with our camera operators. So I'm making sure that everything is running smoothly, everything looks good, um, all of our anchors are saying what they need to say, they're not flubbing on any words, and overall we're just having a good communication process, making sure the show goes well. I'm the executive producer, so for that I have to do a, a lot of different things, really. Um, it means that I'm behind the scenes for most of the time unless I'm doing a special segment, which I try to do once in a while. I like being in front of the camera too, and for this, you're doing a lot of, you know, the directing, the producing, getting here, you know, a few hours early, which a lot of people don't think you have to do. Getting, making sure the lighting set up, the cameras are ready to go, you know, all the software and computers are good to go for everything. And then I also have to make sure that every take that we do is correct, you know, uh, working with the floor director and the camera operators, the uh, anchors, everyone really. Um, and then I also am in charge of, um, you know, editing everything. So everything after we're done with the show, I spend you know, a good five to ten hours on each episode making sure everything's crystal clear, everything's perfect before it gets sent out to uh, the public relations department and sent out to the university. I joined the Ridge Report at the beginning of my freshman year because I'm a communications major and I want to go into news production and that sort of stuff, so I knew this would be a good experience for that. Um, I joined the Ridge Report my freshman year. I've been wanting to do it since I was a senior in high school. I've seen episodes of it on the class of 2016 page, I've seen YouTube uh, videos, and all I, that's all I wanted to do. Vienna College but I stayed with Ridge Report because of the friends. It was kind of like my thing to do. Like if I didn't, like when I wanted to be away from my other friends, like I had these guys to come to. So it was just a big family of just a mix of everybody just helping out and doing everything. The Ridge Report is something that's not necessarily a club that we have on campus, but it's a student produced organization that we have here. And it's mainly with communication studies majors, however, it's open to any major in the entire university. Um, it's definitely like a team unit and everyone's working together and you have like a finished product and a lot of clubs, they do a lot and you might not always get like a thing that you can look at at the end of the day and be like, wow, we all like work together to achieve this one thing. But at Ridge Report, you get that every two weeks. And it's great. I think other students should join, even if they might not be a communications major, because this might be something they're not sure that they even want to do until they try doing something like this. It's just a really fun extracurricular activity to have and something really good to put on your resume. So it's a club in itself to promote other clubs, which is a really cool thing because other clubs stand for what they stand for, but we stand for everybody, you know. We're kind of there to cover any event that happens on campus. We, we have basically the insider scoop on every event at campus. I feel that the Ridge Report definitely stands out amongst clubs on campus because we have such a large following. And so many people see your episodes and it's not just, I mean, in clubs you go to the meetings and then you leave the meeting. In Rich Report, everybody's needed all the time. You're always doing something and you're always learning something too. Oh, I love doing What's Trending because it was me, Kira, and Madison and we all like worked on it and it was fun to like put my personality into something because I'm a very sarcastic person. And so that got to like come out in it and it like did really well. So I felt like I really achieved something. On a Thanksgiving Day episode, we had a segment where members of the crew came and said what they're thankful for. And a lot of the members weren't usually people you saw on camera, so it got you a chance to get to know people from behind the scenes. And it was really good in Thanksgiving spirit. It, was, uh, it wasn't my greatest moment on the Ridge Report, but I would have to say the most favorite um, moment would be when uh, I was really struggling with this one um, uh, part on the prompter and I kept starting over one Purple word and then I finally got the it and stopped recording and I just went nuts. I, I, it was, I don't know, everyone started clapping and I'm really not that bad I swear. I think my favorite experience on the Ridgeport has probably been this past year only because it's been a fresh slate for us. Rachel and I kind of stepped in in the fall to take over, um, you know, as the head people in charge of the Ridgeport and it was kind of a, a sudden thing for us, but we kind of stepped in quick and in my opinion, we've started a brand new foundation for it to build upon. And uh, I think this year in general, we've heard from people, friends, family, faculty members, professors, students, stuff like that. And they've all said that they think it's been a really big thing. And we've been asked more this year than I think I can ever remember about, um, you know, them asking us to promote stuff or to do a segment on this or that. Um, in years past, we've had to actually just go out and do it ourselves. We haven't been asked. so. Uh, I think that's a really good thing to build on and next year we plan on doing even more with new segments, new little fun bits here and there 
um, and building on the journalism aspect of um, doing the Ridge Report and having um, our field reporters get a, more of an experience in that sense with the spotlight videos and that kind of stuff. So I think that really steps it, steps it up. And even our website, our website's a huge thing that um, me and uh, our web designer, Andy, um, who works at the university, him and I really uh, spend a lot of time working on that, making a new thing, because I think that really sets us up on another scale compared to other clubs and organizations as well. To have an event covered by the Ridge Report or to get involved next semester, contact us at niagararidgeport at gmail.com. For more info on the Ridge Report, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit our website at richreport.niagara.edu. I'm Justin Pope. Thank you for watching The Making of the Ridge Report.